Hi guys, welcome to Textway with me, Jay. Today, we're going to be looking at downloading photos from iCloud servers directly down to your Mac, or in this case, downloading to Mac to a USB drive, which is going to be acting as the storage. Because my MacBook that I'm using only has about 15 gig free, um, but if you need to actually check this, you can just go into the Apple icon, choose about this Mac, and then just hit the storage tab. Under storage, it'll tell you how much space you have free, and there you go, I'm just shy of 20 gig. So then down here, we can see that I've got two terabytes free on a USB drive that I've connected and formatted as Mac OS. You will actually need to do that. The first thing that we want to do is that we want to set the USB hard drive as the default location for my library. If you're not using a USB drive for this, you don't need to worry about this step and you can actually skip on to number two. So what you want to do is press the option key, otherwise known as Alt on the keyboard and click once onto photos. This will then come up and allow you to choose a library. So by default, you'll already have a system default one, but I'm going to create a new one. So after creating new, I want to choose where. And for this, I'm going to put iCloud and choose the USB drive. And I'm just going to call this photo library, for example. Hit OK, and then photos will open. Now that's open, I actually want to set that as essentially my system default location of where to download photos. Now, the reason for that is I'll show you just now. So if you go into preferences, just choose user system photo library. And you can see there it's got iCloud photos library. So my photos library is on my USB drive. Now, the reason why this is important is because iCloud won't automatically download photos to a USB drive or another location unless it's set as the default system photo library. So that's why we have to do that. So before we continue any further, we want to log into iCloud. So to do this, again, just use command and spacebar, type iCloud, and then just type in your user details. If you've already logged on, brilliant, you can actually just skip a little bit forward in this video. So once logged into iCloud, you can enable or disable these options to suit your needs. And then after choosing next, you'll have a full list here. And the only option that we really need to enable if you're just interested in getting the photos is taking photos. Now check the library and then once that's complete, that's all we need to do. You can actually close that down. And then whilst back in photos, you want to choose the iCloud tab. If you've actually closed this, again, that's just choosing photos and preferences. Or well, the shortcut for that is the command button and the comma button. And then under iCloud, if you haven't enabled this already, you want to tick this option, which is the iCloud photo library. And then this was basically the option where you'll automatically upload your entire library and then it'll basically download any videos and stuff that's stored in iCloud. Now for this, you can either, by default it's set to optimize the Mac storage, but you can download the originals. And that's what I'm actually gonna be doing in a second because this is downloading like optimized versions and I want the originals. So I'm gonna change this and it will start re-downloading. But that's essentially all you need to do. That's as straightforward as it is. Now, from here, if you want to see the original location of or where the actual location of where the main files are, um, you'd actually need to go into Finder, um, go to the directory of where you've just set your library, and when you get to the Photos library, you want to right-click, or the, if you're using a trackpad, that's actually clicking with two fingers, and then choose Show Package Contents. And then from here, if I just change this to this view here, you'd actually want to go into Masters. So obviously this is where all the master copies are. If I just full screen this, you can actually see this a bit clearer. And then you'll have the year, and then there'll be separate folders under here. And then if you keep going through, you'll eventually find here we've got a load of different images that I've taken. And if I were to do a quick preview, you can see there's a photo of an Amazon Echo that I've taken. And if I go through, there's the computer one. And just to show that they are the real ones, if we just go back to all photos, you'll see over here, those are the same photos that I was taking there. That is it, guys. This is how to download all of the photos to your Mac or to a USB drive. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. If you do have any questions on it, do let me know. I'm always happy to make videos for you guys. Um, but yeah, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.